Um, obviously, as the shadow, um, I welcome the, the first draft uh, of, of it. Uh, uh, it does contain a few elements that we would find problematic. Uh, there's language around African ownership of cooperative programs, uh, effective consultation and coordination, and the section on regional integration that are, that are certainly welcome. Uh, but there are a few sections that are a bit vague and prosaic and others that want to promote policies that we know don't have positive results all the time. In the section on regional peace and security, for example, there's a reference to the European Peace Facility and that we must make sure it uses, that it uses, abides uh, by European values. Well, given that this mechanism is currently being used to pump uh, hundreds of millions of euros worth of arms into a hot conflict in Ukraine, which does... I wonder what this would really mean. I mean, and does it mean if we pick a side uh, in, the, in the conflict in the Horn of Africa that we could pump loads of weapons in as well and prolong the war? In paragraph F, we appear to hand off all responsibility at diplomatic attempts to end the terrible conflict in Ethiopia to the African Union, who we know are themselves at an impasse on the issue. Uh, while this language is consistent with council statements from December, this is rather timid when compared to the language agreed at the European Council in June last year, which called for investigations into human rights violations by all sides in the conflict. The effective embargo on aid reaching the millions of Tigrayans desperately in need by the Ethiopian government is absolutely criminal at the moment, and the EU is apparently afraid to say a bad word uh, to Prime Minister Abiy uh, for some reason or other, uh, maybe they think that it will affect their uh, potential trade arrangements. But anyway, there is language around unsustainable conditional debt arrangements that we would like to introduce, as well as around climate change and the roots in instability and migration. All these things are connected to long histories of colonialism and ongoing economic exploitation in the region. And if at all possible, it would be welcome if this text reflected some of that reality. Thank you very much.